see this message message here and I'm going to do a revision I'm going to show you how to utilize this method still but there's a better way to do it so that's exactly what I'm going to do today but I want to go ahead and thank uh, this subscriber hopefully um, it said hi Chris I've tried making one but the option is limited to only share to those with the link seems like this way of indexing isn't working anymore I want to go ahead and thank you to bring for bringing this to my attention uh Rahawadi Pratawi <laughs> uh in any case if I butchered your name I apologize but let's go ahead and walk through this method just like with this but there's a revision and I'm going to give a few methods in today's video so again let's not waste any time let's get right down the business here so first and foremost we will need a um we're going to need a doc file all right now I actually have a list here of some web twos that I went ahead and I created uh some spun up good stuff that I went ahead and created and blasted my uh site with I'm trying to get some uh you know it's just nonsense right I was just testing out something that I created but in any case what we will do is we're going to head over here to a uh, drive file now if you don't have drive it's actually provided by Google inside of drive you will come to find out that there are some things that you can utilize uh, what they are are actually um, doc files so what we're going to need to do is create a doc now within this doc generally uh, you may want it to be you know something that is findable <laughs> indexable so you will want to create a title all right so here is going to be your title uh, but that's not what we came here for what we came here for is we want to index backlinks so what we're going to do is we're going to control a the link list that we want to have indexed we will then go ahead and paste it into a doc file all right just like the last method now what we're going to do is we're going to hit control a once it's on this doc file we're going to highlight it and then what we want to do is we want to make these hyperlinked. we want to make these actual links now if you want to go in and change these to uh, perhaps maybe an anchor text of some sort it's exact match maybe it's going here maybe it's going there whatever the case is that's up to you I'm just showing you this strategy this technique of indexing now this is a Google property Google properties are crawled relatively frequently I would say almost instantly because what I'm going to show you as the new process um, what I've came to find out is that method alone indexes links singly but here's 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 the tip here's the strategy it works all right now not all of these are going to get indexed you're going to see some success and I can guarantee that this is going to get crawled I'm going to show you how so uh, what has changed is this it's no longer the same as it once was what you will need to do is head over here to file when you go over here to file you're going to scroll down and there's a tab here hopefully you can see that says publish to the web all right this is the difference uh, subscriber who brought this to me this is the difference this is what has changed all right a lot with my drive stack training I went through this and I, I showcased also if you have G Suite this is something that's easily accessible that you can go ahead and publish to the web and get those shareable links that are already web ready but that's neither here nor there what we're going to do is publish to the web now there's a couple of fun things and, and this is where we're going to start having fun I'm going to show you the one method but let me lead you to this all right if you grab an embed code embeds are very powerful they're almost like links you can use a service just like this and and there's a couple ways let's say you went to, and you just went to Fiverr and looked for embeds I even spelled it wrong and still came up with it but what were you looking for is something like this right we have 2500 web 2 site it, it doesn't matter that it's on garbage it's embeds and I know that this works and I know that this is successful because within my drive training right if we do a uh, New York uh, SEO search right a New York SEO search and we scroll down let me do a control F and we're going to do uh, Google Sites I want to just show you something very briefly all right so here is the site uh, that is gibberish 
Okay, I was hoping that it was give me a presentation here. Let me look for something else. Um, uh, New York SEO, Chris Palmer. I just want to show you something about the embeds. And I'm, it's all leading together for indexing. This is to help you, all right? So if you take a look here at this presentation, I want to show you the power of this. I'm not going to give away the farm here, but I just want to show you something that's going to help you tremendously. This is a presentation. It's, it's a presentation, AKA like this, a presentation, okay? I'm creating something else here, but this is a presentation, uh, a slide, okay? So I created this as part of just a training, but the trick of it is this. What I did was to get this index, to get it to rank, because for the training, I was able to hit the first page, uh, but then I took everything down when there was a change because I had to figure things back out. That's irrelevant. I'm leading to this. Let me show you something. So here's the presentation. But if, if we go into here to this and look at, if we come over here and we go to this video, I want to show you something. We go to videos and we find this video right here, right? It was just part of the training. I'm, I'm just showing you, I'm going to lead you something that's going to help with the embeds is what I'm getting at and the power of it. The reason why this indexed and why this was powerful, I mean, it's a lot along with the docs it holds its own weight but with the embeds and i'm going to show you a piece of something all right i'm showing you another way to index links is, is the purpose of this video and how you can do it is with embeds and that's how i did it with this right here if you scroll down here to the bottom you'll see if you take a look the reason why it's indexed in google is because I embedded it into a YouTube video and then I blasted it out on the web, right? So that's number one method. Look at right here. Here it is. And all I did was I used the cheap service. I did it myself, to be honest, but you could just pay $5. You could even go to Conquer and get it for $2, you know? Uh, embeds work. So that's tip one, all right? Let's keep moving on here. I wanted to show you that to show you this. Very important, all right? Let's keep moving on here. Um, I'm hoping I, I know that indexing links is trouble, especially if you're doing lower quality links and you have a lot of them, you want them, you want to get that boost. You want to get that bump because you want to know if you need to get more, right? It's great for your tiered linking. Again, do not point these types of links directly at your site. All right. In any case, so I want to start back over because I wanted to show you the embed method of indexing. Very powerful, very powerful, especially if you're in local, it doesn't matter anywhere. It's powerful. Okay, um, so in any case, we've put our links inside of the doc, all right? I showed you method one with embeds. Let's go to method two here. So we will go to publish to web. This is the change that was implemented. Now, if you partook in the training, you could always add and create this, right? So automatically, so start publishing. So when we go to start publishing, are you sure you want to publish the document? Yes, of course. What it's going to give you, and, and the only thing that changes is this right here. Now, if you're within the training, I, I went over this, but if we take a look here and we go to copy, all right, now this is a published link that's on the web that contains all of the links. The only thing that's different is PUB, PUB, but that's always been the same way. You know, just because the option isn't there doesn't mean that it's not accessible on the web. And plus it's Google. Google knows what's on its own servers. But in any case, this is a way to guarantee that it's searched, but let's take it a step further now. So now that we have this link and we know that it's crawlable, you know, if you want to look at the past um, video that I did showcasing this particular method, utilizing docs, feel free by all means. But I want to show you a faster way now that you can go ahead and do this. So I showed you embeds. That's super powerful. But let me show you another little trick. So I went on here and I created a business directory and I have another, I have an awesome tip that I'm going to give you, um, I don't know, maybe in the morning or whatnot when I wake up. I'm going to bed now because I'm working on a CTR um, training now. Um, I'm wrapping up for Wednesday. Um, you know, I'm just making the slides for it basically. I did the training, but I want to do the slides. I want this to be more professional. You know, I want to up my game, you know. <laughs> uh, but in any case here, if we take a look over here, uh, 
what we want to do is this. So we have our pub link, okay? Our title. You know, we've created it. We've published it to the web. If you just head right over into here, and this is very effective for getting links indexed, but it's only one at a time. And then after you keep updating it, say five or 10 times, you'll get an error message. But if you just want to take that document that you created and publish to the web, throw it in here and apply, um, I can guarantee crawl. If this was any other site, you will notice I made a video on this almost instant indexation. I shared this.